searching item in a binary search tree. Search one given item on a binary search tree and this binary search tree can also be called as dictionaries. We shall have to develop one procedure in and this in will have two arguments which finds whether an item is present in a binary search tree or not. The binary search tree can also be called as BST. BST is known as dictionaries also can be called as dictionary tree. So, here is one binary search tree we are having. We know that binary search tree is having mainly two properties. Property number one it should be a binary tree that means each and every node can have maximum two children that is the property of binary tree and always the left subtree nodes will be lesser than the root node and right subtree nodes will be greater than from the root nodes and that is the property of the binary search tree. So, as a result of that all these values are distinct. So, they can be also treated as the key values. So, here we are having this binary search tree in the in in the in procedure we have passed this binary search tree as a second argument here. So, 5 is the root. So, 5 is the root it is having the left subtree having the root 3. So, 3 is the respective left subtree here that is the root this 3 is having 1. So, 1 is having here and 4 as the right child. So, 4 at the right child. So, 4 is a leaf node. So, that is why the left subtree and right subtree they have been represented as nil and here this 1 is also a leaf node. So, it has been expressed accordingly. So, 5 is a root node. So, 5 is a root node. This root node is having 8 as the root of the right subtree and this is my 6 and 7. So, here we are having this 6 and 7 and here we are having this 9 here. So, in this way this particular binary search tree has been expressed and passed as the second argument where the first argument is 6 which will be searched. So, now here you find the 6 is present. So, that is why it is giving the output true, but if I give the value 10 here because 10 is not there. So, it will give the output false or no. So, in this way my code is getting executed and showing the outputs. So, now let us go for one practical demonstration where we shall type this code, we shall execute it and we shall explain the problem once again for your better clarification. So, here is a demonstration for you. In the dictionary tree, all the values will be unique. So, there will be no repetition of the values and each and every root node will have all its values in the left subtree will be lesser than the root node value and all the node values on the right subtree must be greater than, than the root node value. And this thing, this constraints will be also maintained in the left subtree as well as in the right subtree. So, in this tree, we are trying to find out one particular presence of one particular item. So, for this one, we have written this one in this format. We know that here this is 3, 1 and 4. So, here 3 is the root node. This 1 is the leaf. So, its left subtree is nil and right subtree is nil. 4 is the leaf node. So, left subtree is nil and right subtree is nil. So, it is our 3 and that is our left subtree for 5. So, that is why 5 has become the root and similarly the right subtree has been expressed in this structure form. So, here the required predicate here is in and we are trying to find out whether 6 is present here or not. So, for this purpose we are executing the code to check yes for 6 we are getting yes as answer true as answer. So, if I check one leaf node let it be 9 it is also giving the right answer. If I find out the root node 5 here also it is giving us the correct answer. So, let us test with another one so 1 also it is giving us the correct answer. Let us give some value which is not present 11 we are getting no as the answer. So, our query is getting satisfied and giving us the correct answers. So, let me go for the coding explanation. So, this is the code explanation we are going to give. So, if t is the tree with x as the root node and left subtree and right subtree for them we have used this anonymous variable underscore then x will be found in this tree and otherwise x will be will be found in this tree t having the left subtree with the respective variable left root with the variable root and right with the right child with the variable right here. So, this is left is the left subtree root, right is the right subtree root. 
so if root is greater than x so here we have used this clause gt gt has been defined here so gt x y will be true if x is greater than y so in this case in case of gt so root if the root is greater than x that means there is a finite probability that x will be found on the left subtree so that's why in x left left is the root node of the left subtree similarly for the other cases that is if x has been found in this tree and if x is greater than root so i should check x with the right subtree so i'm calling in recursively x right so in this way we have written the respective comments here root is greater than x search left subtree x is greater than root search right subtree and so on so i think our program is executing perfectly okay we have tested with different types of inputs and also i have explained line by line of my code dictionary.pl i think your conception is now getting clear how we can write the respective search algorithm on a dictionary tree thanks for watching this video